So what we're doing now is we're going to be adding in different bases. I'm going to refer to base 10 to kind of just remember how this process works because we're doing this without a calculator. So in base 10, normal numbers, what we've been doing our entire lives. When you're told to add, you're going to add vertically and we always start from the right. 8 plus 5 is 13. You don't want to write two digit numbers down here, so you write the 3, carry the 1. You do 6 plus 5 plus 1 gives you 12. Don't want to write a two digit number, write the 2, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 gives you 4, and you get your answer. Normal base 10, stuff we've been doing most of our lives. When we switch to different bases, and we're now adding 234 base 5 to 143 base 5, we've got to keep it in base 5 for our answer. When you add, you're more than welcome to do it in base 10 as long as you then translate it to base 5 before you write it down. So what you need to make sure you remember about bases. Bases are only allowed so many symbols. So base 10, we're allowed 10 symbols at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's 10 symbols because the 0 takes the 10th one. Once we hit the next 11th symbol, we start combining and we make 10. So when we hit 10 in base 10, that is our 10. In base 5, you're allowed 5 symbols. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Once you hit the base, you've got to start combining symbols. So your base is 10. So the number 5 in base 10, so the number 10 in base 5. So what we're going to make is we're going to make a translation chart. So I'm going to convert from base 10 to base 5. And when you're making this translation chart, you always start at 0 for both. 0 is 0 on both scales. 1 is the same thing, 2 is the same thing, 3, and 4. Until you get to your base, they are all the exact same. Once you hit the fifth number in base 10, base 5, you're only allowed 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. They can only have those symbols. They cannot have any other symbols. So you cannot have a 5. You hit the base, you're going to start combining and make 10. You hit 6, it's going to be your 11. The 7th number in base 10 would be 12. The 8th number will be 13. The 9th number is 14 in base 5. And when we hit the 10th number, that would we think 15, but you're not allowed a 5 in base 5, so you cannot have a 15. So you jump to 20. Another way to think about this is you're only allowed 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. You're not allowed a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So when we hit 4, you can't put a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, or a 9. They're not allowed in base 5. So the next number you're allowed to use is 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. You're not allowed 15 because it has a 5. You're not allowed 16 with a 6. Not allowed 17, 18, or 19. The next allowed number is 20 that does not have 5, 6, 7, anything higher. So what we're going to do is when we actually add these together, we're going to treat it very similarly, but we've got to remember to stay in base 5. So 4 plus 3, normal numbers, base 10. 4 plus 3 is 7. We're not allowed a 7 in base 5. So you've got to look over to your chart. 7 in base 10 is the same thing as 12 in base 5. So we've got a 12. You've got to carry the 1 just like you did with the 13. So we're going to carry the 1. Then you're going to add again, just like in base 12. 
1 plus 3 plus 4 gives us 8. You're not allowed 8 in base 5. 8 is the equivalent of 13. Write your 3, carry your 1, just like you did in base 10. Then you're going to add again. 1 plus 2 plus 1 would be 4. You're allowed a 4 in base 5, and if not, you still want to check your chart to make sure 4 is still 4. The only thing missing from this answer is your base. Make sure you put your subset of your base so we know which base you're dealing with. So 234 base 5 plus 143 base 5 is 432 base 5. So you're going to treat it similar to how you did base 10. In your head, do the math in base 10. 4 plus 3 was 7 in base 10. Translate that to base 12 to make sure you can get, or to base 5, I'm sorry, to base 5 to get the 12. Do it in base 10, translate it to base 5 with your translation chart. This is your answer, and you're done.